and uh, my dates were uh, waking up uh, four or five o'clock and going to bed like uh, night time, 12 o'clock or one. And it was uh, quite a funny thing. Uh, one of the first times when I went back to Belgium from South Africa, I remember a friend who was still one of my best friends, he came to me and he said, like, you know, what's wrong with you? I'm like, why? He says, you've lost a lot of weight. And I've lost a lot of weight because I didn't eat. You know, I just work and work and work and work and work and work. And, work. and uh, yeah, I lost weight. One of the few times only in my life where I lost weight. <laughs> so that's, that's um, uh, you know, how it started. And uh, once you get uh, responses from people or you've identified the room uh, you could go see, I didn't have money to buy a car. I had to rent a car. And nobody wanted to rent me a car because I was so new in the country. So I think my stepfather at the time rented the Palio for me and I, I didn't pay him. And I drove around the whole Western Cape with that car. I think the, the furthest I drove was like maybe Naysna or something. I don't know. But yeah, the car was packed with the monitors that I had. And I went uh, out to show everybody what I had. And those were the days where... People were using CRTs, those big bulky mm. monitors. And, uh, you know, flat screen monitors, LCD monitors were uh, the, big, the, the big thing. Um, so I went all over the place. I mean, Cape Town City, Somerset West, Southern Suburbs, uh, everywhere. Um, <laughs> stop, get all the kid out of the car, put it in front of the customer. Pack it in again, put it back in the car. You know, the stuff that you want that get me to do today, even if you pay me a million. <laughs> and I think that as a new business, a new company, you uh, need to get lucky your first time by finding that one customer that's going to give you a lot of business and that you, you can use as a, as a starting point to go from. And I also had that customer. <sighs> Maybe after a year, a year and a half, I found him. It's a, it's a company that still exists in Johannesburg, a point of sale company, a guy called Duncan. And um, yeah, he saw me and he says, hey, this guy, uh, you know, I like him and I like his product. And he gave me a chance and he started buying a lot of monitors. And from the, the revenue and the profits that came from that, you can then start to invest in samples for other markets, other applications, other type of businesses. And pretty much from there, the rest of it is history. You know, as you know, today in South Africa, we have, uh, I think, 30 people permanently on the payroll and a few that we, uh, we share the overhead with other businesses. And then, um, yeah, in Cyprus, we got two people on the payroll, in Taiwan, one, and in Belgium, uh, another two. So all together, we're going to get close to 40 people. And, uh, and then turnover-wise, uh, two years ago, we peaked at 140, I think, for tactile technologies and maybe 20, 30 million for the Newland business. And combined with the turnover from the Belgian office, we probably got very close to 200 million rand of business. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good story. And uh, you need to get lucky uh, at certain times, but the essence of it all is uh, persistence and hard work. Um, yeah, and making the right decisions, obviously learn from your mistakes. I mean, in the 20 years, I've made so many mistakes. Obviously, every year that goes by, you make less and less, but you still make some. But then you, you try and learn from them. You know, even today, if something happens, something goes wrong, you, you fix it and then you analyze it and you learn from it and you try and prevent it from happening again. So yeah, that, uh, that is how it all went. And um, 20 years have gone by, you know, don't underestimate. Some people think that you start something and within a couple of years, you're flying and you'll make your money, and etc. It ain't happening. Um, I don't, if you want to have a stable business with a stable income and, and a good customer base, it's not something that here with Corona, uh, we've, our business has proven to be uh, Corona proof or, or um, uh, crisis proof because of our product set, our customer base, uh, our people, uh, they, you don't create that in like three or five years. You know, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, a dream. Absolutely. That's utopia.